Hello, and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband. I'm your host, Missy. Today, we are going to do the Make Peace Between Two Factions mission. Now, let's get started. Do you have any tasks for me? This war between the Kingdom of Nords and the Kingdom of Vegas has brought our town to the verge of ruin. Our caravans get raided before they can reach their destination. Our merchants are afraid to leave the safety of the town walls. And as if those aren't enough, the taxes to maintain the war take away the last bits of our savings. If peace does not come soon, we cannot hold on for much longer. You are right, but who can stop this madness called war? There have been attempts to reconcile the two sides and reach a settlement. However, there are powerful lords on both sides whose interests lie in continuing the war. These men urge all others to heed to the word, not to heed the word of sensible men, but to keep fighting. While these leaders remain influential, no peace settlement can be reached. Who are these warmongers who block the way of peace? They are Jarl Tullug from the Kingdom of Nords and Boya Olaf from the Kingdom of Vegas. Until they change their minds or lose their influence, there will be no chance of having peace between the two sides. What can be done about this? There is a way to resolve the issue. A particularly determined person can perhaps persuade one or both of these lords to accept making peace. And even if that fails, it can be possible to see that these lords are defeated by force and taken prisoner. If they are captive, they will lose their influence. They can no longer oppose a settlement. What do you think? Can you do it? It seems difficult, but I will try. Most of the merchants in the town will gladly open up their purses to support such a plan. I think we can collect 12,000 dinars between ourselves. We will be happy to reward you with that sum. If you can work this out, convince Jarl Tullug and Boya Olaf to accept a peace settlement. And if either of them proves too stubborn, make sure he falls captive and cannot be ransomed until peace is is settled. All right, I will do my best. Excellent. You will have our blessings. I hope you can deal with those two old goats. We will be waiting and hoping for the good news. Now, this is interesting. This is an interesting mission. I usually pay the lords to stop. Hmm. Now let's see. Jarl Tullug is close to Sinus Degar Castle. Okay. He has no land, so he's close to Lethwin Farseeker, where Olaf has no lands also. He's close to Rivercheg, which means he's close to Prince Valden the Bastard, whose main seat is Rivercheg. Hmm. I'll go to Rivercheg first. Make my way towards the news to go. Hmm. 
I won't collect any more soldiers for now. Well, except uh, those that are in the taverns. Hmm. You're hired. As I play this right now, I'm still at war with the Kingdom of Rodox. Mm, I have no prisoners. Hmm. Any mission I can do while I'm traveling around? Caravan. Uh, no, that'll slow my progress. I mean, if I were going to Kira or Riverchag or something, maybe I'd have taken it. Or even if I were going to Dirim, since I'd have to go close to there to find that other fellow. Oh, I could have dropped off some of my loot. That's unfortunate. because I have a bunch of loot. I think um, my party's a bit slower. Okay. I would release this lord, but um, it's not night time. I only let them out in the night. Because if I do it during the day, everyone knows who I am. Wow, that is a lot of lords. I make him back this way. <laughs> Build a little relation. Hmm. Has no one claimed this beef yet? I suppose not. Ah, boy, 
Olaf. All right, I'm looking for Olaf. It's close to Udiniad. So am I. There's Udiniad. There he is, right there. I'll drop some of my things in here. in here I want. Ah, Rolf. It's good to see you alive too. Let's <laughs> buy everyone a drink. See if there's any missions I can do here. While well, I'm travelling to Dirium. Bandits have kidnapped a friend. No, I don't have time for that. I have a war to fight. Currently, I'm still with the Rodok rebels. And I have to help fight the Rodoks. Good to see you again, Michelle. I've been looking forward to meeting you again. Your tricks will not deceive me a second time. And I will relish hearing your cries for mercy. What is it? Please, sir, it is time to end this war between the Kingdom of Vegas and the Kingdom of Nords. Eh, uh, I'm not sure I heard you right, monsieur. War is not easily forgotten by either side of the conflict. And I have a very long memory. Why should I take any interest in brokering peace with those dogs? Perhaps I can talk you into it. Hmm. Let me try to convince you. Very well. Make your case. Attempt to persuade. Mm. Okay. Okay, his price went up by 20 dinars. <laughs> Truthfully, monsieur, I fail to see the virtue of your reasoning. What you ask for makes even less sense now than it did before. Hence... It costs more. Then I'll make it worth your while. 7,020 dinars. Hmm, a generous gift to my coffers would certainly help matters. 7,020 dinars should do it. If you agree, then I'll go with your suggestion. Very well. Please accept this gift as a token of my gratitude. My dear Michel, your generous gift has led me to reconsider 
what you ask. And I have come to appreciate the wisdom of your proposal. You have convinced me, Missy. Very well, then. You've my blessing to bring a peace offer to the Kingdom of Nought. I cannot guarantee they will accept it, but on the off chance they do, I will stand by it. Okay.